one change from the weekend. Rodoya coming back from injury, gets his first start in the midfield in the regular season since April 1st. Minnesota's been pretty good defensively. The Loons winless their last five. Their biggest change tonight, Lori, formation. Sporting KC in their sporting blue on their home field at Children's Mercy Park tonight. Minnesota United visiting wearing the black. Being effective in your chances. Sporting gets a lot of corners, has yet to score from one. Here they are with their first tonight. And it tore the goal! And off to a great start. They've controlled the tempo, they've controlled possession, and then Rosera, see the numbers around him for Minnesota United, just perfectly timed, gets himself up, doesn't even make great contact, but just enough to redirect that pass St. Clair. And three bodies around him, not easy to do, but that is a huge goal at home in front of their crowd to put them up 1-0 early in this match. Can something build for sporting off of this? Russell in front of the goal, still there, the shot off the post! Polito inches away from extending the lead. Commits into the box as Voltaire that sends this one initially, and that touch just gets away from Russell. It lands right to Polito, and this is where he's so good, just in the right place at the right time, just slices through that one, that catches the upper corner, ricochets off the crossbar, gets underneath his feet, can't collect it and get himself out on the field, so that's a good sign. Well, that's a good quick turn. Numbers for SKC is the touch right. A little wide, the foul, goal! Splendid connections in the front line for Sporting Kansas City, and they lead it 2-0. Here's the initial touch from Polito to be able to break free. You got the runners into the box, understanding of where there's players, and that's an excellent finish. And Volontaire coming out of the midfield, a little back heel, and then first time from Shalawee to tuck that into the far post. Excellent combination play, awareness all around. We talk so much about Polito and his movement in the box, but he's so important in the buildup as well. Now for Daniel Shalawee. But, but what a touch from Polito, just to understand, and just the burst of speed to be able to break free. Speaking of breaking free, it's happening on the other end now, Song Ben. Trying to go at himself. Milia comes out in the end to take it away. But was that challenge too strong? The referee's pointing to the spot. On board from the penalty spot. Let's take a look. Well, and it's, it's good little 1v1 ability from Song Bin. And it does initially look like a penalty kick on Milia. Doesn't get the ball, takes out Song Bin. Check over. Penalty kick is indeed coming. Song Ben to get Minnesota on the board. Save! <laughs> Tamilia will feel justice is served. Yeah, poor, poorly taken <laughs> from Songbin, just right down the middle, and, and well done for Melia just to stand his ground. Meanwhile, chance on the other end. And Dane St. Clair not happy with his back line at the moment. Yeah, Lou not even phased at all, it looks like. <laughs> Something on my back. And now it's turning into an attack for SKC. Off the gloves of St. Clair and out of bounds. Corner kick on the way. Touches that have just allowed him to be able to explode away from his defender. There's one, and this opens up the space. It is a tough angle. Sinclair hasn't read the entire way, but just a little nutmeg, how crafty, and just showing. Not being quite efficient enough in her movements, but maybe it turns into something. Langwane kept his run going, couldn't find him again. DJ Taylor! Oh, Melia! If he was hurting, my goodness, he wouldn't know it with that save. Well, he had to be sure about it to Melia because he was off his line, and that one caught as it took a deflection. But it did feel like a slow tempo, but then there was some patience, and then there's a deflection, and, and Tim Melia comes up big, and then the rebound just put over, and that's always a difficult one, trying to come off and keep that one on frame, trying to knock the header back down. 
but sometimes it can be slow, a slow tempo and patience, but it also lulls the defense to sleep. This sport has given me my life. I don't want you to miss out on that opportunity. Right now, the team trying to survive without him. Maybe they get one here. Oh, what a save! The backup goalkeeper, McIntosh, comes in on Amarilla and shuts the door. But important save for McIntosh. Little moment of brilliance for Minnesota United on the far side from Amaria. And this is what Minnesota United needs. Somebody that's going to take players on, go 1v1. It's been a lot of possession. He gets it back here. Kinda in the box! Back of the net! Got he Kinda! Adds on a little more! His first goal of the season. And then just an excellent, classy finish from Kinda. And uh, that, is a, that is a tight one. It could be his left arm that is offside, but just slows his feet down, sees St. Clair off his line, and then just chips it past. And, and there's just the a, a quick no-look pass. And my goodness, what a finish that is for Kinda, just to know where St. Clair is as he's coming out, trying to make himself big, and just knows exactly where the space is, lifts it up and over St. Clair, and just showing his class and why he's so important to Sporting Kansas City not just in the run of the play, but for his ability to find the back of the net as well to make it 3-0. Perhaps the last ball up the field. And the drought is over at home for Sporting Kansas City. Their first win at Children's Mercy Park.